Today's video is all about crocheting cables. I'm going to give you my, my best tips for success and what better way to practice than to actually make a project using the stitch. So this is my um, easy crochet cable ear warmer pattern. Well, a start of it anyway. Obviously it's not the whole thing, but I'm gonna show you how to make it. So keep on watching. All right, so let's start off with um, answering the question, what are crochet cables? The, they are um, raised stitches, usually worked on a background of single, half double, or double crochet. Um, the stitches are worked around the posts, posts of the stitches below, and they're just, they just build on top of each other and they raise up from the surface of your project. And then with those post stitches, you take them and you cross either over top or underneath, and it creates this lovely um, twisted type pattern. So to get started crocheting cables, you do need to know how to do post stitches. I will link a video in the, um, in the iCards and in the description box below so you can go check that out. Basically, a post stitch is a stitch that is worked any stitch that is worked around the post of the stitch instead of worked into that top of V. So you have um, front post stitches where your hook goes from front to back to front or you can work back post stitches where your hook comes in from the back to the front and then to the back again. That's just a, a quick version. I highly recommend watching the um, video tutorial that I have linked for you if you are unfamiliar with post stitches. Um, what else do you need to know? Let's see. I made a list, so you also might need to know some taller stitches, um, taller than double crochet. So triple, treble crochet or double treble crochet. Those are the two that we're gonna use today, which they are easy to make. It just involves um, more yarn overs on your hook before you make the stitch. So double crochet, you have one yarn over. A treble crochet, you're gonna yarn over twice before you start your stitch. And then a double treble crochet, we're gonna yarn over three times before we start our stitch. Um, you also, We'll need to know how to read crochet patterns. Uh, I have the printed pattern for our ear warmer linked in the description box below. You will need it. This is not a direct substitute for the pattern. Sometimes, well, crochet cable patterns can be especially wordy and hard to understand, so it is good to have the written pattern handy and even, um, I've seen some people take the pattern and rewrite the instructions onto a lined piece of paper step by step so they don't miss anything. Um, if you want some help reading, with reading patterns, I have a post on my website with all of my top tips and if you sign up for my email list, I will send you the password to my free resource library which includes um, a, a crochet cheat sheet, among other things. So go check that out. Um, what is next? What else do we need to know about crocheting cables? We need to have the correct tools. So obviously we need yarn and we need a hook. Be sure that you're picking a yarn and hook combination that is familiar to you. Um, now is not the time to try 
um, a teeny tiny hook and fingering weight yarn for the first time. Um, a couple things to be aware of when you're choosing your yarn is um, the fibers that you're using are important. So um, to start out with, as a beginner, I wouldn't do anything with cotton, like 100% cotton like you would use to make a dishcloth. Um, just because it's not going to have a lot of give and stretch. Uh, I also would not use anything that's highly textured or yarns that just don't pull pull out very easily um, because obviously mistakes do happen and you don't want to have to, you know, start completely over because you couldn't get your yarn pulled out neatly. Um, color is also important um, if you're I wouldn't recommend starting out doing cables using black yarn um, because you're gonna have a really hard time seeing what you're doing I also wouldn't recommend using something that's um, highly variegated or multicolored self striping should be fine like a Karen cake or whatever else but um, some of the really highly variegated ones, your cables will get lost in all the color changes and they won't stand out as well. Um, and the last thing that I have on my list for you is practice makes better. Not practice makes perfect, practice makes better. So if this is new for you, it's you might take to it right away, but you might need a little bit of practice. And that's that's all right. That is why we are going to um, be starting this ear warmer pattern today. So, finally, <laughs> let's get let's get to that. So, um, this is not the whole ear warmer because well, I just ran out of time. <laughs> so, this is probably about, I don't know, a little more than half of it. So what you are going to need, this pattern uses a um, worsted weight yarn. This is a Lime Brand Touch of Alpaca, and I believe the color is Purple Aster, I think. And a five millimeter crochet hook. This one is my Clover Amore hook. In the tutorial today, I'm actually going to be using this Lion Brand Woolies Worsted Weight Yarn, which is, it's really similar to this alpaca in feel. And I mean, they're both really like, I don't know what the word is, lofty, airy, light, I don't know. <laughs> um, and you will also need the written pattern. There's a link in the description box below. You can either look at it on my website or there is an ad-free PDF printable version that is available in my shop. All right, so there are a lot of different types of cables. These are, um, I always call them rope cables. This is a right-leaning rope cable and this is a, a left-leaning rope cable. Um, I like to work mine so the cabling is on the front only and the back is smooth. I have seen them where they are also worked like in this row you do all front post stitches and then in the next row you do back post stitches and then front post and back post. But this is just how I like it. So this is all front post stitches on a background of half double crochet. All right. If you would like to see more cable, crochet cable, post stitch type patterns, let me know in the comments and I will add them to my uh, filming list. So to start, we are going to chain 
16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 16. 16 chains. For row one, we are going to half double crochet in the second chain from our hook and in each chain across. Okay, here we go. We should have 15 half double crochets. Row two, we are going to chain one and turn. And then half double crochet in that same stitch as chain one. Our chain one does not count as a stitch. And half double crochet in each stitch all the way across your row. There is cat hair all over my thing. I think somebody must have been snuggling with my yarn. Let's move on to row three. So chain one, turn. Half double crochet in the same stitch as chain one. And in the next stitch. Now this is where we begin our cabling. So this is gonna be the front side of your work. Every, when you're working, when you are working the odd numbered rows, you will be working on the front. So, what you need to do is we are gonna make a front post treble crochet in the next two stitches, two rows below. That's what the pattern reads. So that means that we are gonna put a front post, front post treble crochet in the third stitch in this first row because we did these first two so our next one is stitch number three so we're going to work a post around this stitch right here so to work a front post treble crochet yarn over twice find that third stitch in the first row and you're going to insert your hook from the front to the back and then to the front around your stitch and then pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again yarn over pull through two again so that is your first front post treble crochet. Now we're gonna do another one of those into the stitch right next to it. So yarn over twice, insert your hook from front to back to front, around the body of the stitch, not through the stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. There you go. Now, it says half double crochet in the next stitch. So, let's look at this. You look on the back. Okay, so we have our two front post 
treble crochets and on the back you're you are going to have two empty stitches leave those stitches empty do not crochet into them so you're going to want to put a half double crochet into this one so leave these two empty because we have these two right the two front post stitches that are um, filling them so to speak and half double crochet into the next one so leave them empty and then half double crochet into the next one okay so next we are going to make two more front post treble crochets in the next two stitches. We're going to skip this one and we're going to work around this one. So yarn over twice, insert your hook from front to back to front, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. All right, we're going to do another front post treble crochet into this stitch right next to it. So insert your hook from front to back to front, around the stitch, not through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two and then half double crochet into the next stitch, which is this one right here because we leave these two stitches unworked. Half double crochet. Okay, and you're just gonna repeat across your row. So, skip this one, front post treble crochet around this stitch, and the next one, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And then half double crochet into the next stitch, which is this one right here, because we leave these two unworked. All right, our final two treble crochets. So yarn over twice. We are going to skip this one and work our front post treble or cr crochet around this stitch right here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. All right. And then another front post treble crochet directly in the stitch next to it. And then half double crochet in the next stitch. So skip those two and then half double crochet into this one. and then half double crochet into that last stitch. Okay. Row number four will be half double crochet all the way across. So half double crochet in the same stitch as chain one and in each stitch across. When you get to here, do not work any stitches in these two skipped, well, I guess they're not really skipped, unfilled stitches behind 
your post stitches, you want to work your half double crochet into the top of your post stitch. Alright, here we are at the end of the row. We're going to chain one and turn. Now we're going to work row five pattern. So this is where we will start um, crossing our stitches. The first set that we're that we are going to be doing, we're going to crochet these. Use my hook as a pointer. These two first, and then we're going to come back and work behind these stitches in a little pocket here and work front post stitches around these two. And then when we get to the next part of the row, we're going to crochet, it's hard to see, <laughs> these two post stitches first around these two front post trebles, treble crochets and then working over top we're going to make these two. Half double crochet in the same stitch as chain one and the next stitch. Now you're going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and then front post double treble crochet around the next two stitches, which are these two front post treble crochets. So to do a front post double treble crochet, yarn over three times, insert your hook around the post of your front post treble crochet from front to back to front. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Okay, we're gonna do another one of those into this around this next stitch. So yarn over three times. Insert your hook from front to back to front, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that is what you should have thus far. So now we need to put a half double crochet and we're going to make our half double crochet in that third skipped stitch. Remember we skipped three stitches. We're going to leave these two unworked and we're going to put a half double crochet into that third one. Just like that. Now we are going to work our next front post double treble crochets. That is a mouthful and there's no good way to like abbreviate it while speaking it. <laughs> we are going to work our next ones. We're going to go in through this pocket here and we're going to take this first um, front post treble crochet and we're going to kind of pull it up like this and that's what we are going to work around. So yarn over three times, insert your hook into this little pocket here, grab your first front post treble crochet 
if I can do it. Grab your first front post treble crochet and just kind of pull it so, so you can easily work around it. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Okay, let's do another front post double treble crochet around this next stitch. Again, going in through that little space there. Grabbing our um, front post treble crochet from back, front to back to front and sort of moving it so we can so it's like in that little space and we can work our stitch. So pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And then we need to half double crochet in the next stitch, which is this one because we need to leave two stitches unworked. If we crochet into these um, stitches behind your front post stitches, we will be adding stitches to our row and your piece will get bigger, <laughs> wider. It won't be straight. So half double crochet. So that's what we have so far, and I need to go find another battery. Back at it. So this is actually the next day filming this because all of my extra batteries were dead yesterday. <laughs> so let's um, let's continue on here. We are going to skip the next three stitches. And then front post double treble crochet around the next two stitches, two rows below. So that means we are going to front post double treble crochet around these two post stitches right here. So skip three, one, two, three, and then we're going to do a front post double treble crochet, which means we yarn over three times. We're going to insert our hook from front to back to front around the post of the, that um, front post treble crochet from row three. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. Now we need to do one more, so yarn over three times. We're going to put our next one around this post stitch right here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that's how it looks right now. Next, we are going to put a half double crochet in that third skipped stitch. So we skipped the, these ones, one, two, three. We are going to put a half double crochet in this stitch right here. And leave the other two stitches unworked. Now, when we worked this cross over here, our next stitches we did behind. We did behind these um, front post double treble crochets. This time we are going to be working over top. So you did the hard thing first and now we're gonna do the easier version. Pull 
close some more yarn. Okay, so yarn over three times. And then you're going to come over here, grab this uh, front post treble crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. See how it lays on top of the first two that we did? Let's make another one. Yarn over three times, insert your hook front to back to front around this next post stitch there. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. All right, so now we have a right leaning cable and a left leaning cable. Our next instruction says to half double crochet in the third skipped stitch. So if we look over here, we skipped these three. We're going to half double crochet in this last one, leaving these two unworked. And then half double crochet in the last last stitch. And that completes row five. For row six we are going to chain one and turn. Row six we are going to half double crochet in each stitch across. Half double crochet in the same stitch as chain one and in every stitch in the row. And just like before, we are leaving all of these skipped stitches unworked. So do not crochet into those stitches. like from the back. Now let's chain one and turn. To finish out the ear warmer pattern or to make your swatch bigger for more practice, you're going to repeat rows two through five in the written pattern. I'm going to, um, let's do a ne the next row. So this would be a, let's see, this would be a row two that we just finished, and now we're going to complete row seven, which has worked exactly like row number three. Half double crochet in the same stitch as chain one, and in the next stitch. Now, the first time that we worked row three, we were find, counting stitches along the bottom, along row one here to try and figure out where to put our post stitches. But now we already have our post stitches. So we do a front post treble crochet around this first post stitch. And the next one. And then we leave these two stitches unworked and we half double crochet into the next one. Um, I just want to take one minute here. If you are enjoying today's tutorial, please don't forget 
to give me a thumbs up down below and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you can be notified each time that I release a new video tutorial. Next, we need to put two more front post treble crochets around these two, these two post stitches. So we yarn over twice, grab that first post stitch, and make a front post treble crochet. And then front post treble crochet around the next. So we're just going to repeat this across the two front post treble crochets and then a half double crochet. We're going to put two front post treble crochets around these two stitches and then a half double crochet. And then we're going to do the same thing with this group over here. So yarn over twice front post treble crochet around that um, front post double treble crochet from row 5 and around the next one And then we're going to leave these two stitches unworked and half double crochet into the next one. Front post treble crochet around the next stitch, next two stitches, which are again post stitches. half double crochet into the next stitch, leaving these two stitches unworked, half double crochet here. And then front post treble crochet around these two. And the next one. half double crochet in the next stitch. Remember we leave these two unworked. And then half double crochet in the last stitch. And there you have it. You have crocheted some cables. So keep on practicing, Make uh, just make your swatch bigger or you can work the whole um, ear warmer pattern, uh, which you can find again on my website for free or you can um, find the printable version in my shop. Um, I'll have the link for both of them in, my, in the description box below. Um, one thing I noticed here while I was working do you see how oh, hold it this way? It's not really like laying flat. It's sort of like pinching together like this a little bit. That's because I was crocheting my post stitches a little bit too tight. So watch that. This whole top row should be flat and even all the way across, and mine is not. So if you find that your project is bunching, that's probably why. Um, happy crocheting. Um, thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments how you did on your cables. Bye.